What's up guys and welcome back to another eBay Miniature Rescues. This week we've got something pretty special in. It is the Green Knight from the Bretonian Free People's Army. So I didn't actually buy this on eBay. An awesome subscriber by the name of Ben Davies sent this to me last week and asked me to see what I could do with it. It has some issues as you can see I'm pointing out. Um, I've already started some of the green stuff processing. I've covered the back end, filled in some of the gaps. Uh, he's got a leg break. There's a chunk out of the shield. Uh, the feet were not attached. So I went through and just covered everything and kind of sculpted it together. So it is now a single piece. Not only did Ben send me this model, but he also wrote out a ton of the lore based around this model, which I'd never read before and honestly got me thinking I really need to start collecting some of these Bretonian models. So with Vallejo Surface Primer White, I'm going to cover the green stuff and start to do some highlights as kind of a pre-shade to a new green. We're going to brighten this model up and just kind of give it a facelift. I like the paint job that's on here. I like the idea that he was going for. So I'm just going to try and clean it up with the new modeling and kind of see what happens. Coming in with Sick Green as our first color. This green is more of like a, a bright forest green. It's not as nergly sick as you might think it is. It goes over other colors to make it look more sick. But it's a nice green jump up from the dark green that we had on the model previously. So I'm going to go over the white areas and just start brightening up that cloth around the horse. Coming in with Burnt Umber, I'm going to lightly go over the horse skin and some of the leg areas to give it that brown color for when we wash it later. We want a little bit of that green to show through, but we're going to try and darken it down to create a lot more contrast. Using Escorpina Green. We're going to come in on top of the other greens and just continue that gradient from dark to light. Up next is Moon Yellow, and we're gonna do just the tips of that Escorpina Green. Yellow over Escorpina Green or Moot Green or pretty much any bright yellow for that matter really brings out that, that saturation and brightness on those greens. With Lead Belcher, I'm going to fill in all of his traditional armor. Finding 
I'll be using Death World Forest as basically a leather base coat for the, the main leather strap around the horse's neck. With Agrax Earthshade, I'm going to cover the armor and pretty much all of the horse skin. This is going to bring in that, that dark brown and the contrast, and it's going to blend that, that burnt umber with that green on the horse skin. Menoth white base as a base coat to some of the white adornments on the legs of the armor and on the horse. I'm going to be using a Thonian camo shade for the shawl over the horse and the shield. Using Fuegan Orange, I'm going to go over the top of the armor on the horse and give it a little bit more of an earthy tone, not quite a rust look. Well, I mean, it kind of looks like rust, but it just brings in a, a little bit of different color and adds a little more contrast and to be honest, it just looks cool. Coming in with some goblin green with the airbrush, we're just going to clean up some of the flatter areas on the shawl. With Menoth White Highlight, I'm going to go the pretty traditional route and in keeping with the original theme of going a pretty bright white on the adornments on the horse and then around the bottoms of that cloth.
with a glaze of moot green. I'm gonna hit the higher points on the shawl just to kind of reach that brighter color. This is after, I think, probably four rounds of glazing on this section. So it did take a minute, but I think it, it looks pretty nice. It's got the gradient from the dark to the really bright green. And moot green is more saturated and brighter than escorpina green. So it's, that's pretty much gonna be our high point for green. With Deathworld Force, we're going to do pretty much the same kind of glazing, but just in the shadows. With Radiant Platinum, I'm going to edge highlight all of the armor. I'll edge highlight the sword with Menoth White Highlight. So here's where things get a little interesting. Pretty much when I was doing this, I was running into this issue where I was battling the old world versus the new world and how to paint this model. A part of me really wanted to go classic. So using Death World Forest, I tried to put that line down the middle of the sword that's in some of the original artwork. At the same time, I'm trying to keep it bright just with some fresh colors and bring it into now so that, you know, it doesn't stand out too much because it's, you know, it's still a knight riding a horse, right? So I went for this Death World Forest down the middle and it just, I don't know, didn't look good to me, you know, and it, it doesn't look that different from the original box art, but I ended up just blasting it with some white and some green, again, that's just the bright stuff, Escorpina, and changing it. And I like that better, more of like that power sword kind of look. And it also brought together this kind of white stripe pattern that I wanted to bring in from the original. So I did that for the collar on the horse. I used just masking tape and blocked out some white squares. Um, you can kind of see it in the, the last portion where I was painting that sword. Um, so I decided to take that, you know, which was in the original and Ben's original and just push that onto more of the model. So here we go with a ton of Tamiya masking tape. So as you can see, this Green Knight has been through quite a bit. And I want to thank Ben Davies for sending me this model and allowing me to rescue it to the best of my ability. And here is the Green Knight. Honestly, I think the flags make the biggest difference for this model. I think it ties the weight together and it gives it something more than it had before. It just makes it stand out and looks awesome. 
So thank you again, Ben, for sending me your Green Knight. I hope I did it justice. Definitely let me know. <laughs> and thank you all for joining me on another eBay Miniature Rescue. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.